right. This looks as good a spot as any. Where should we stand, Uncle Arthur? Down by the shore. Come on, follow me. Just by the water there? You mean... You can't... Fish without a pole. Arthur? Well, first, we need some bait. I'm gonna use some cheese. Cheese? Bellier the better. Now, cast your line, swing the rod back over your shoulder, and bring it forward in a smooth motion. Use your wrist, not your elbow. Like that? That's it. Good. All we do now, Jack, is wait for a fish to take the bait. How do I know when I've got a bite? Well, if you feel the tip of your fishing rod just twitching, don't yank it yet. That just means one's nibbling. But if you feel a hard tug, that's a fish going for the bait, so yank hard to hook it. Arthur? Got one, Jack. I see. I see. You see him fighting there, Jack? That's when you gotta be careful. You, you'll break the line. Best to wear him out first before you try to reel him in. Now, it seems like he's taking a rest now. I'm gonna try reeling them in nice and steady. This is a great fishing spot. Don't jinx it, kid. Why am I not catching any? Just be patient. My arms are tired. You're all right. Look, Jack, it's a bluegill. It's almost as small as you. We should really throw these smaller ones back. Give them a chance to grow up a bit. Can I take a break from fishing? I want to make something. Okay. those red flowers. I'll be right back. See what's biting there. You gotta stick at things, Jack. I know. Fishing sure is boring, Uncle Arthur. <laughs> I know. Boring as hell. But then, something happens. And you can get food for days. Really? If you're lucky. But until then, you just 
sit, wait, try not to worry. It's good for you. It's good for you? I guess. Huh. I think you've got a bite. Look. Whoop, think I got one. Is it a big one? What are you making there? You still all right over there? I'm fine. Just want to catch one more. Then we'll call it a day. Well, this is clearly the spot for bluegill. Hey, look at this. And what? This necklace I made. Necklace? For Mama. Sure. What a fine young man. And in such complex circumstances. Arthur, isn't it? Arthur Morgan? Who are you? Yes, Arthur Morgan. Vanderlyn's most trusted associate. You've read the files. Typical case. Orphaned street kid seduced by that maniac's silver tongue and matures into a degenerate murderer. Agent Milton, Agent Ross, Pinkerton Detective Agency, seconded to the United States government. Nice to finally meet. We know a lot about you. Do you? You're a wanted man, Mr. Morgan. There's $5,000 for your head alone. $5,000 for me? Can I turn myself in? We want Vanderlyn. Oh, Dutch. I haven't seen him for months. That's so? Because I heard a guy fitting his description robbed a train belonging to Leviticus Cornwall up near Granite Pass. Oh, ain't that a little old-fashioned nowadays? Apparently not. Listen. This is my offer, Mr. Morgan. Bring in Vanderlyn. And you have my word, you won't swing. Oh, I ain't gonna swing anyways, Agent uh, Milton. You see, I haven't done anything wrong, aside from not play the games to your rules. Spare me the philosophy lesson. I've already heard it from Mac Callender. Mac Callender? He was pretty shot up by the time I got to him. So really, it was more of a mercy killing. Slow but merciful. <laughs> you enjoy being a rich man's toy, dear. I enjoy society, flaws and all. You people venerate savagery, and you will die. Savagely, all of you. Oh, we're all gonna die, Agent. Some of us, sooner than others. Good day, Mr. Morgan. Goodbye. No one to worry about, no one at all. Come on, let's pick up your things and get home. It's getting late, Jack. Your mother will be worried. Let's head back. Why did you lie about where Uncle Dutch is? Because... Well... Because those are disagreeable men, and I don't want them to hurt him. What did they mean about Mac? Is he in jail? Uh, no, I don't uh, think so. I hope he's just fine where he is. Like I said, don't worry about them. The world is full of disagreeable men. That's why you got all of us to protect you from folk like them. Now, how about that necklace you made? You still got it, right? Yeah, I got it. Good. Well, did you like fishing? It was... okay, I think. It's a lot of waiting around. It is. Yeah. Boys getting on. Great. 
We caught a fish, and I made you this necklace. Ain't that pretty? I'm not the luckiest. Did you thank Uncle Arthur? No need. We had a good time. What's wrong? Nothing. Just met some folk. I better go speak with Dutch. Okay. Hey, you did real fine, kid. Thanks. We got a problem. What? I just met some guys out near the river. A fella named, um, Milton and, uh, I don't remember the other fella's name. Ross. Milton and Ross. And? and they are employees of the Pinkerton Detective Agency. And they know about the train and they know we're here. Were you followed back here? No. They know we're near here. And they want you, Dutch. They offered me my freedom in exchange, they did. Why didn't you take it? Huh. Very funny. I say we do nothing just yet. They're just trying to scare us into doing something stupid. We have turned a corner. We survived them mountains. We just need to stay calm. Hey, so that feller who was hassling you in Valentine. I'll tell you another time, okay? Okay, sure. All right, well, I should be getting on. Sure, Arthur. Still reading? I've taken a break. But yes, I plan to keep reading. Is it, uh, fun? It's amazing. It's the reason we're living. It's, it's the only thing that makes me happy. So the only thing that makes you happy is being in your head somewhere else? <laughs> <laughs> I suppose I never thought of it quite like that. You never read? No, I never fancied it. But you can. Well, I could, if I chose to. I've just not chosen to. Maybe one of us will teach you. <laughs> Excuse me, Mary Beth. Whoa, look out! Oh, sorry. Why do you do this? Just stop it! You've been giving grim. I said, I heard what you said about me with the goddamn Philippines. Say, Morgan! Morgan, you got any hair pomade? Excuse me? You know, <coughs> hair pomade. No. Well, if you happen to find some. Sure, I'll buy you some hair pomade. 